What's up guys, this is Nick or MA04 from Mastiff Outdoors. Right now I'm doing a layout of my whole kit for Strike on Salsk, Millsim West Strike on Salsk in Battle Spring Ranch, Oklahoma. Um, basic overview, over here we've got the, uh, the camel uniforms, up there we've got some extra clothes, food, hygiene, boots, sleep system, Rucks over there. We've got the uh, RLCS RV. I actually just got that again. Um, for whatever reason, I sold it um, to a team member. So it's still like within the team, but I sold it, um, which was a huge mistake because I love that rig. Um, hands down, like one of my favorite rigs ever. Ranger Green is like the best color. So, and if you argue with me, you're just wrong. Um, extra airsoft stuff, Odin, some other batteries. Headgear up top, blaster, and then uh, like inclement weather gear here. Um, so getting more into detail, we're going to start with the the uniforms and some of the clothes. Um, I've got a Cry AC combat set. So these are the pants, and then this is the shirt, undershirt there. This is just a like a bandana to keep my uh, hair out of my face. I need to throw that in the pocket on there. I've got the black Blackhawk Riggers belt. Um, up there is a Gen 2 field shirt. Um, this is just an extra pair of OCP multi-cam bottoms in case any go anything goes wrong with these. Um, but I'll probably be wearing the field shirt and the combat pants mostly. Um, combat shirt I'll wear if, if something goes wrong with that or if it's wet or something. So um, the combat shirt's gonna be the backup for this game. Um, we've got boots over here. Merrill Moab, I believe they're the Gen 2, 2.0 or whatever they call them. Um, great boots. I've got my insoles in there because I've fucked up feet and it'll hurt if I don't wear those. So, um, like I said, great boots. They're waterproof. Um, I've taken them fucking everywhere and they've never failed me. So, great boots. Merrill Moabs. Um, up there we've got our hygiene gear. Baby wipes for other things. Don't forget those. Um, cold shower wipes, basically like taking a shower, gets all the dirt off you and stuff like that. Um, it's a really good feeling also, like, if you bring good hygiene stuff and you're clean the whole time, or relatively clean, it's like a huge morale boost. So, um, these help a lot. And then I've got toothbrush, toothpaste, baby powder, deodorant, that sort of stuff in there. Um, Biofreeze too, so... Like I said, it's like a huge morale boost if you feel clean out when you're just like getting rained on in the middle of nowhere. Um, up here, speaking of rain, we've got really nice heavy duty tarp. Um, it's got a bunch of tie downs and stuff um, for paracord and stakes. Um, these stakes I got from, I think it was just Walmart, um, but they're like big, like thick, heavy duty stakes. So I've got four of those. Um, Rain gear, um, like personal rain gear. This is a multi-cam Gore-Tex jacket. Um, I believe it's like an M65 or something. I could be wrong, but rainproof multi-cam jacket. Um, beanie, don't think I'll need it. Glove liners, don't think I'll need them. Uh, frog balaclava, always nice to have. That thing's like fucking goaded. Um, boot socks, I need to get more. I've only got three pairs. Somehow I lost three um, coming back from Victorville like two weeks ago for the art sock game or whatever it was called. Um, so I need to get more boot socks and I also need to get gaiters because it's fucking Oklahoma. Um, two extra tan t-shirts in there. I've got my third t-shirt right there. Uh, three extra pairs of underwear. Um, I have, I'll be wearing one pair of all that stuff, of course, um, on the way in with the, uh, the camel uniform, um, for food. We've got some mountain house meals. Uh, these are called peak refuel. Actually. I like these a lot better cause they have more protein. These have like twice the protein of most of the, uh, what do you call them? The, uh, mountain house meals. So I really like those and they just taste a lot better too. Like they have a lot of better stuff like sweet pork and rice instead of like all this fucking chili and shit that Mountain House has. I don't really like these as much. Like I said, these have like half the protein. Um, but it's always good to have like a breakfast meal. I love having a breakfast meal in the morning. I hate having like dinner shit when I wake up in the morning. So breakfast meal is always nice to have. Um, I can get two servings out of that, out of each of these actually. So um, that'll be good for both mornings, and then these will be good for lunch and uh, dinner and stuff. Jetboil Flash, I believe it's what it's called. Yeah, Flash. Um, this thing's sweet. Get a Jetboil if you don't have one. 
I've got two of the little propane things for those, the medium sized propane things. I think it's like 400 grams of propane or whatever. Um, in this little ACU pouch, I've got some extra like trail food and snacks, um, some protein bars, some granola bars, and then uh, most importantly, we've got utensils and Pedialyte mix. Like, um, what do you call it? Like the powder that you dump into the 16 ounce water bottles. If you don't bring those to these ops or something like it, then you definitely should because like, if you are out running around, it'll dehydrate you quick as fuck. And then if you just slam a couple Pedialyte things, you'll be feeling so much better in no time. Like literally 30 minutes and I just slammed like four bottles of Pedialyte in California and it was like 90 degrees. I felt so much better. Um, headgear up top, we've got soft headgear here for when I don't wanna wear, uh, you know, the helmet everywhere. Reaper crew, if you know, you know. Oakley M frame 2.0s um, with the clear lens because most of much requires it at night and you're not gonna be able to see shit with the black lens. I've also got the black lens too. Um, Helo kit retention strap, but I probably won't be using that shit. Um, ZTAC Comtech 2 replica for the MSA. Uh, Mitch 2000, I believe is what the number is. Um, Princeton Tech headlamp on there. Rhino arm with the USGI shroud. Surefire HL1 helmet light, and then some bunny ears on the back, and then painted all cool guy. Now for the main rig, we've got the RLCS RRV. Um, like I said, I fucking love this thing. Um, like what a dope rig. Just, I mean, look at it. Like I said, Ranger Green, best color. If you don't agree, then you're wrong. Um, so up top, up front, we've got the two RLCS frag pouches. They've got EG67s in them. I'm bringing, I think, seven or eight EG67s is what I can fit in this kit. Um, smoke, uh, what is this called? Like a heavy duty rubber band. Um, disco bands or whatever they're called from Disco 32. Um, I've just got that strapped on there because I thought it looked cool. It's a Milex smoke from Enola Gay. We've got a, what's it called? Coleman, I believe is the brand. Uh, multi-tool, yeah, Coleman multi-tool. I still want to get a Leatherman, like a Wave or something. Um, and then down below, we've got the IFAC. Um, got a bunch of like random medical shit in there. And then the Milson West tourniquet. Med shears, because those can't have enough fucking uses. Four mags, two extra mags down there. Um, I only even used three mags in Victorville um, because they only give you like 500 rounds or whatever. So I'm not really tripping about having like seven mags. Another Milex, all my Milex smokes are purple. I think Milson West says no black and no red because red is for admin and black looks like fire. That's empty, I'm gonna put a speed loader in there. Um, I can also put like an extra grenade or an extra smoke or something in there. Not that speed loader, but one of the speed loaders that's shaped like a magazine. Um, and then canteen pouch. I've got, uh, I've got paracord electrical tape, an extra battery uh, defogging spray, like the lens cleaner, and um, a compass in there. And then on the far left, or the far right if you're wearing it, I've got a bunch of chem lights. IR because if you don't rent nods, you're a pleb. Green because I want to be able to see shit at night um, or mark stuff at night. Um, probably won't be using those much because if Milson West wants you to use chem lights, they usually issue them to you, which is really nice. Um, down here we've got, like I said, the extra mags, the Odin, and then these are my batteries. I use the ASG Deans, of course, um, lipos in 11.1 .1 and 7.4. So I've got two of each of those. And then uh, portable chargers for my phone. I need to throw a uh, an iPhone cable in there. And then a bunch of extra batteries for optics, headlamps, pec boxes, that sort of thing. Um, AA, AAA, and CR123As are in there. My sleep system is uh, an MSS. It's got the waterproof bivy sack because oklahoma and the cold weather bag i'm leaving the patrol bag at home because it's only going to be like i think it said 60 at night so i'm planning on like worst case scenario like 45 or 50 so i'm not going to need that i'll be sleeping in my clothes anyway so i'll be perfectly warm um that's also in like the like baby stuff sack or whatever you call it um 
My ruck is an Ilby from the Marine Corps in Woodland Marpat. Um, I know it like totally doesn't fit the Ranger vibes here, but that's all I have right now, so I'll be using this thing. Um, I've got a tarp strapped to the outside because I want to be able to get to that quickly when we start setting up camp and stuff, um, just in case it's already raining. Eagle Industries 3A Salt Pack because fucking Black Buckle's dope. Um, Thermarest sleeping pad. These things are awesome. Um, on the back here, I've got a 2-liter hydration bladder. Um, th these are really nice, actually. You can here. you can take that off and flip them, um, like reverse them completely so you can dry them off and clean them and stuff. Um, like I said, 2 liters. Uh, this is on the ruck right now. It's routed around to the front so that we can, so that I can drink water while we're rucking out to the AO. Um, and then when we move out without our rucks, I'll take this off and I'll throw it on the assault pack that I'll have with the RRV when we're, when we start to move, uh, through the AO without our rucks. Um, on this side, I've got a couple of the old, uh, M16 mag pouches in Woodland with the Milex smoke grenades in there two extra ones of those. And then on this little pouch, we've got a multi-cam poncho. And then I've got a flashlight, sunscreen, a bungee cord, just in case I need to tie something down. And then uh, some bug spray. I need to get tick repellent as well. Nothing in the Claymore pouch right now. I'll put that, uh, that tarp in the Claymore pouch because I want to be able to get to that quickly, like I said, with that tarp. Um, on this side, multi-cam nutsack pouch with five more EG67s. I know probably not the best idea because it's gonna be raining all the time. So I'll probably throw these in a Ziploc bag and then throw these back in the pouch just to waterproof them. Um, Cause those are extras. Like I said, I've got the two that I'll need for like a battle or whatever on my rig. In this little pouch, we've got a boo-boo kit. Um, it's in this little, this is actually a box that my uh, replica pack came in. So this has got like burn cream, itch relief cream, uh, band-aids, neosporin, that sort of thing. So like little boo-boos. Um, a little bandage just in case you're bleeding. A little bit of gauze, sting relief, non-aspirin, aspirin, alcohol wipes, tape, that sort of stuff. So small cuts and stuff because it would suck to uh to get infected and have like a swollen sore cut out at milsom west um instant cold compress these things are awesome because somebody's bound to sprain somebody's bound to sprain an ankle one of these times at these games so instant cold compress you just fucking yeet it and then it's like good to go or whatever uh trash bags because milsom west says bring them and then uh, I've got a just a speaker mic I need to give back to my buddy. Uh, that's really about all of my gear. Um, let's get this boo-boo kit back in there. So all that's like waterproof. That case is waterproof too. Um, and it's in the Ziploc bag inside there. So I'm not really worried about all that, all that getting wet. Um, that's really about it for all my gear, except for my gun over here. This is a uh, Echo One Mark 18. It's just got a EOTech and a PEC 15 replica on it. Some random Cabela sling that I'm gonna switch out for my Blue Force Vickers sling. Uh, random foregrip, and then an ASG tracer unit, but I'm not bringing any tracer BBs. It's basically just for the suppressor look. Um, so really that's about it for all my gear. We were gonna do uh, some desert Marpat stuff, but that kind of fell through. Um, Would have looked good with the LB, but that didn't really work out. Um, so if you guys liked it, comment. Let me know if you guys are going. We'll be third platoon on NATO. I'm not sure what squad yet, but we'll be with uh, we'll be with a team called the Death Raiders. So look out for us if you guys are out there at Salsk this weekend at uh, at uh, Milsom West. 